Hello. Ah, face face went bark. Hello. Hello. Oh, my mic, my mouth again. Ah, all right. We can fix that. We can fix that. Um, hello, Martina. How are you doing? Uh, yeah. My cat wasn't singing. <laughs> cat was full and excavating so i figured i would give them time and then i realized that they were uh sneak attacking me so i cleared that up and now i'm here hello how are y'all doing yesterday i was working on a character art for a, for a campaign that i'm going to be playing later today i think more than likely we're going to do some art and then by the time i'm done <laughs> hopefully hopefully We'll raid Tabisco, who we'll be who we'll be playing D and D with. So, full on day for me, I think. I'm streaming, I'm playing D and D. Yay! Shout it for Tabisco. Where is his picture? It didn't work. All right, cool. Overlay. That is a lot of stream, but that's okay. I need to do the art. I needed to stream. There it is. Oh, it must be different shout outs now. Well, let's fix that. That's stupid. Is it is it shout out for for the Twitch one now? Hmm. There is shout out and there is shout out. Oh, I can't I can't get the forward slash. Okay, well, well, all right. When's the D&D stream? It's 2 p.m. our time, so it's in... Three and a half hours. Oh, three and a half hours, I gotta finish my character art. All right, okay. Um. The SO is what you made with Batissimo. Yeah, and then I hijacked it for uh, my own overlay stuff. You know, fuck Batissimo, man. They keep removing features and putting them behind a paywall. It's like, I've been paying you for the features. You can't just be like, oh, sorry, this is in the uh, more ex exclusive package. You're like, add new features for the more exclusive package. Improve the product. Don't take shit away from me. Like, for instance, I. Hi. Hi. My cats are actually doing psychological damage to me because the two litter boxes that are in this room, they don't have lids on them like the others do. And so I think they have the same behavior that they do on the inside one, which is to like scratch their paws on the back in the inside walls to get the stuff off their paws. But they do it to the fucking walls. <laughs> they do it to the walls here. And I like I don't think it's much damage, but it's poopy walls and I have to clean them. <laughs> so every every time I'm like, hey Kuma, can you not? Thanks. So I'm gonna get them stuff. Because you can't change cat behavior. You can only alter their surroundings so that they feel more comfortable. So uh, there's no music. Great. Um, it's a beautiful here we go. Here as we get ready to start the yeah, psychic damage. The are at the line and it looks like um, yeah, what I was saying. Yeah, but these are they keep they keep doing that. So like custom, custom chat commands. Custom chat commands, you get like 10 of them, and if you want more, then you have to pay more money. However, I have 144 chat commands, but and I can edit the ones I already have, and it's fine. But I can't add any new ones. I've got this little quota thing that it's like, minus 1,304 of 10. <laughs> This. 
the psychic damage. <laughs> this is psychic damage. This is a stream today. Stop haunting me. No. No, I'll delete you. No. Yeah. I know if I don't move, you won't. Ah. No. No. This is out for blood. Bash, bash, throw, grab, throw, grab. Hink as well? No, no, no. <laughs> Little mod house, what do we win? What do we win? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yeah, bomb the. No! I have a DD &D doodle deadline. Thank you. Wait. Boom. Here we are. Laptop. Yes. This is my character doodle. The tits should work. The tits should work. Nice still tit. I can't tit either. Hold on. Let's get it done. This is... This is our cat cool man. He's just a little guy. He was an even little guy. This is the same cat. And, uh, seeing if I have... Um, the riser open had all the other. You can literally see, see uh, how Sparrow. This could be real. Can I still? Can I still not pay? Wow. Can't paste images in. Trying to impress 
Do you want to see more cats? Do you want to see more? I'm just going to assume you're going to say yes. Um, yeah. Here's Sparrow. You can see, I think she's slightly older in this one than this one. Only slightly. A week, maybe. Look at the li little paws. Look at the little. Fucked up. I think Sparrow might have been looking at Kuma at this point. He was on the windowsill eating a plant. Music is a bit too loud. Okay.
I don't know how long the stream D and D is gonna the D and D stream is gonna be actually. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't. It didn't come up. Um, probably at least two or three. Okay, we're all awake. More. So, music is still too loud. How's that? Okay. Talk a bit more so that we can check. I'm talking a bit more so that you can check. Okay, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Seven stroke roll, once again, it is exactly that, seven notes. There's two different popular ways to play this rudiment. And very much like the five stroke roll, the first one, we're going to lift and play all the diddles and the, and the release of the same height. This is going to be in triplet form. So the skeleton of the roll um, is a triplet. We're going to yeah, it. so I wonder if I still this have it. the most common way you would hear it. So if I go one, two, three, four. It's a beautiful evening here as we get ready to start the race. Sorry, the playlist on, on YouTube is not the whole album. I was weirded out. Um, yeah, so... I'm trying to come up with a reason that um, a rogue cat or a rogue tabaxi would meet and stick in a party with. Give me a moment.
this thing. Um, so this is India's character. <laughs> so why would this guy um, <laughs> a laser pointer? Oh my gosh. <laughs> he secretly wants to steal the drone. Could be, could be. Owes them a life debt. Oh. Shared goal is a go-to. Okay. I don't know what's happened to the toots, and I don't have time to go and fix them at the moment. Cat followed the drum guy because Cat want to kill them for the terrible noise they make but accidentally starts liking them. <laughs> or India's character keeps following him around but he just wants to be alone eventually they end up as friends.
That's just Shrek, lol. <laughs> India's character is musical, so maybe I can have a music link. Like, potentially my character could play an instrument. I've got it. Okay, let me just let me just confirm. I'm gonna be right back. I've got it. idea didn't quite match up but it, it made sense so uh, we keep thinking they were roommates <laughs> um oh, i'm I, I use unity uh, i have a unit but i made a build from unity uh, so it's a custom thing for our characters. Yeah, no worries. It's it's fairly approachable to um like you know load up a character and get them uh like moving around and stuff. Takes a little bit of work to get more of the bells and whistles and things, but yeah, that's what that's what I use. Some people use Unreal. Um, I've opened Unreal uh, and. There's a lot of stuff that I wasn't quite sure about, so I closed it again. How 
how will you play this character personality wise? I don't know. Um, I kind of see them being uh, quite charming. Like. <laughs> or. Not so much as charming, but like fake pleasantries attempt. Uh, so I was thinking of making them like a failed merchant. Um, that they weren't they weren't very good at the um, at relating to the customer, but they always try to be nice. But it never came across quite as genuine. Um, <laughs> like, I will show you my words, and then you will buy something. Yes, because that is our—that is the nature of our. That's the transact. Do are you going? What, where are you going? Um, I don't. I don't know. I'm not the greatest of role players, so probably develop. Role for social awkwardness. Yeah. Yeah, I worked in the contemporary gallery once, and I'm really glad I wasn't paid on commission because I worked there for a summer and I didn't sell a single thing. You're done. Your work is so good, and you, and you do, 3D. I'm not gonna mess with you now. What? 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 Peter Steves? What? Watching without audio. Apparently, that is a icon. That's in your chat now. Okay. 
Oh. I thought I'd save this. Hang on. On your computer. Rambling. You're animating a pixel waterfall. Oof. How many frames does it need to loop in? Maybe gold is too much. It has six frames, but there's a lot of movement to track, so it's going slow. Yeah, I think I think 
a lot of stuff like that, it's like a lot of to do with your approach. Um, can kind of help you think about it in a way that doesn't doesn't become horrendously complicated. Like if you can simplify it down. So that top schnooze linking is probably a good way to get into the headspace for it. I can only assume. Yo, Tosu Zovi, welcome in, thank you. Uh, M. Samuel, no, no, over, no, sorry, Overwatch. <laughs> no Outer Wild stream this weekend. Um, I might stream for a bit. Yo, thank you. Yeah, it's going nicely so far. Um, but uh, Swifty's got, uh, she's got sort of like where she's got to do, uh, and this week's been a little bit more um, busy than usual with stuff outside of work. I feel like maybe there's been a point in time where people on on stream like I just haven't really been doing that much drawing and so there's maybe like a small cluster of people who have followed the channel who haven't really seen me draw. which is kind of funny to me. You're one of those people. I, I really should have been doing more drawing. But such is, such is the way. What if it was this color? It feels more predictable. I like the super purple. The moment you're half decent at 3D, you instantly become the 3D person. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't say I'm half decent at 3D. I, I, I'm. I would say I am capable of creating something using 3D tools. That's that's how I would summarize me. This is the second or third time you've seen me draw. <laughs> I draw off stream. Um, uh, for work. Or more more accurately a, a paint off stream. You're such a half decent 3D person guy. Thanks, man. I did make the Outer Worlds thumbnails. I need to strangle my cat.
I return. What's this? Is this? F it's can't, this can't be finer already. <laughs> no, what? Who did this? Oh, they definitely weren't buying what he was selling, but Fnac, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've not even finished the first art yet. Thank you. Oh, hey, did you also art? Yeah, it's awesome to hear. Thank you. Kuma wanted to play just now, and I think me going through and playing just a little bit, Sparrow's now playing with him. <laughs> you just hear <laughs> throughout the house now. I've never, um, I've never known a cat from, like, really small to really, like, to older. And I'm really glad I get to, you know, know, know our kittens as they're growing up. Joe Creates, hey, thank you. Welcome, welcome in. Thanks for the raid. Pinky, if you want to ask anything about, like, uh, I think Joe does pixel art and pixel art animations. If you have any questions about that, that we, I, if they can, if they can stick around. Welcome in. Appreciate the, appreciate you bringing folks over. Welcome to our bullshit. <laughs> um, this is my half-finished, al almost working, used to work, uh, raid mechanic. Um, it's built in Unity, so it's uh, it's temperamentally sometimes works, and my mouth's not working, and it usually does because my audio barked on my computer. But you know, you roll with the punches. I have a deadline; and I have to do some character art for D and D things. <laughs> Your bombs are too heavy. You can stick around a little. <laughs> so when raiders win, um, the number of raiders that won get spawned as as these things. That uh, we call Jolly Cat, and this is our this is our little breakfast nook, our place on the internet. I'm Doig, uh, I'm an artist. Uh, Swifty's an animator slash storyboarder slash director slash whatever. I mostly focus on color design and, and sometimes art direction. I just finished a a gig as an art director um, for about it was for like about eleven. 11 months so hopefully you'll get to see that project in the in the coming future times um yeah welcome i won't i won't i won't keep you uh with all the shilling i'll just get back to drawing my cat this is my cat um i was just talking about the fact that um i've never known a cat from them being very young to them being like Fully grown. I've never been around a cat that long, um, or I, I've, I've been around a cat later in their life when they're already kind of adults. But this is 
This is our pair. This is Kuma and this is Sparrow. And this is Kuma when he was really small. Uh, we didn't quite get him when he was this small because he still needed to be with his mom. But uh, this is him more recently. And I'm doing a D and D character, kind of based on his face markings and some of his personality. He really loves to um, hide in things and then pounce. So he'll just hide under a box and just sit and wait. So I've tried to include that characteristic in in my rogue character and give him like it's kind of like a rigid a rigid suit that he can pounce out of. So he's like inside of this, but he can like pounce in and out of basically a clothes a box. A box of clothing. Yeah, right? The baby one. Look at his little intern feet. Look at these. Look at I saw this and I I melted. And it was like, hey Mike, there's uh there's some there's some kittens uh available to adopt. Do you do you do you, do you wanna get them? And I was like, oh um, we actually like got in contact and um, they were like, oh yeah, I have, I have one, I have one kitten left available and it was Sparrow. We we're like, we'll take her. She is, she is great. Um, and then a little bit later, um, cause India was like, we were kind of looked to them. We were looking for one or two cats. And uh, a little bit later she was like, oh no, someone's someone's pulled out of taking like two two of the others i know you said that you would want two would you like would you like one of them and we were like oh we don't know uh we, we do but we have to we have to figure out cause we had to ask our we had to ask our landlord who we'd already asked and was like yes yeah you can get a cat um and then we're like can we get who cats? Um, and they were like, yeah. So we ended up getting Kuma, which was the one when there was a group of four of them. Kuma was the one that was like, him. Him. And now he's mine. Um, and I was just talking about it that, like, since I've not been wearing cats from them being very small, I've never really known, like, um, how to interact with them. Like, I've always been very respectful. Like, cats have always seemed kind of like they, they know what they want, they know what they're doing, and I'm just like, I'll pet you if you'll let me. Um, Kuma, on the other hand, uh, I feel more able to not mess with him, but roughhouse with him a little bit more. Like, like, I'll grab him and, and throw him around a little bit. Playfully, softly, and he'll just purr. He'll just, like, be like, yes. Yes, let's go. I've, I've been more respectful, like... Uh, of him growing up like I, I kind of treat him as I did with other cats um, but I just try something every now and again I'm like hey is it okay if I tip him over and he just like rolls on his back and purrs I'm like okay <laughs> tipping over is okay <laughs> you love tipping over cats <laughs> um, both Spyro and Kuma are like they they have no issue with their bellies getting um, touched or like patted or you know rubbed. You had a cat growing up that loved to play fight with humans. Yeah, he's very soft about it though. Like um, sometimes if he goes into play mode more, where he you know where they like catch, kill, scratch, and whatnot. Um, if he does tip over that threshold with me, um, 
it's super soft bite and I just sort of like stop moving and look at him and he's just like oh yeah oh okay um, and I've had him for like eight months that's happened twice You should have your character's weaknesses be belly rubs. <laughs> so yeah, I, I sorry, I blanked. I was in the middle of, of, of talking about that. But um yeah, Joe, how was your stream if you're if you're still here? And uh what were you up to? You're welcome to share anything. Um mods can kind of grab links to images and then pop them in as canvases. So you can see here this is uh a picture of Swifty's D D character. And uh, this is <laughs> fan art already of uh, of of Gremlin here, who is a failed merchant rogue cat. But uh, <laughs> that's the reason for the thick armor. Oh, that could be really good. That would be n not in keeping of Kuma though. We'll see. Oh yeah, I haven't set booking about it in a while, but like if you've ever noticed when I go on my laptop, these stickers <laughs> on my laptop, the top four are by David Liu, and these two are Onstas at the bottom two of the um, Sonic and Shadow. Stickers on my laptop, yeah. Yeah, thanks for linking in the the Twitter for for uh, for David. An on stuff. Also, what do you think of this little guy? He's so pensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, Kuma big eye. Uh, also, have you ever seen Kuma when he real small? I think if you were here yesterday, you probably did. Look at him real small. Real small. Big real small. Big. Pixelated small. Yeah, he was only a blob. Hold him in one hand. Now I just use one hand to hold him down while I pet him. Yeah, look, this is a scrungly ass bitch. 
as in the little mortar machine. Spyro likes to um, keep her distance. <laughs> Princess Vegeta <laughs> likes to keep her distance and then stalk from afar and then rush in. Um, whereas Kuma likes to uh, hide under cover and then pounce if something gets close. He's a trap spider, basically. So, for this onsta, I'm thinking that. Um, the the outer the outer part of of his of his garments is a solid kind of piece that keeps its structure, and he can pounce into and out of uh, this section here. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work with Heek and Turtle. Yeah. I don't know if it'll work with um D D mechanics or whatever. I haven't drawn what he looks like outside of the outside of the thing. I think he keeps his hood though. What should we listen to? Maybe this? You will be looking to me in India and all our D&D experience. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not very good. I'll tell you D&D stories though. Let's get us in the in the mindset. Um, in the longest running campaign I've played, um, of which there is one, because uh, everything else I've played has been like one shots pretty much. Um, I play a druid uh, called Ragnar Bumblebur, which you may recognize the name of. Um, for our Magic Boys Skyrim Let's Play um, co-op thing because I basically took <laughs> took the character name <laughs> for Magic Boys um, and was going to play a similar-esque dude for Magic Boys what is what is image? The kitten that was two sauces long is now five sauces long. Aww. Cute. Cute. Um. And he, he just wants to make friends with everybody. Um, like, in in the way that I play him, he assumes the best. And everyone and he's kind of a pacifist like if you attack his friends he'll be like all right you're a threat i will attack you i'll fight you um but beforehand he's like but what if they're friendly though so my character kind of goes through the first stages of combat usually of just like let's talk to them are you sure maybe let's just don't assume malice um there was one time that we fought a huge stone golem and I had Ragnar walk up walk up to them and be like hello there friend <laughs> and uh the huge stone golem swung its huge stone arm at me um and so I asked the DM can before I walked up to it, is like, can I hold a spell as reaction? 
And he was like, sure. I was like, I want to prepare. And in the case of this is not friend, I wish to cast Merge with Stone. <laughs> and so when this huge stone golem swung its arm at me, I merged with its arm and to my party vanished. <laughs> <laughs> he was there and then he was gone it was a good time <laughs> taken um, but yeah were a magician. <laughs> yeah, there's also um a deck of cards in D D that like they have like if you take one certain things happen. Um and so my pacifist character pulled a card from it. What's the name again? Uh Gr Gramblin. Grem for sharp. <laughs> no? Becomes one with its arm. Now we must be friends. I think... <laughs> um, yeah, I think it might have been the deck of many cards. So my pacifist character pulls... Uh, if you win your next fight, you will gain an entire level card. Ah, oh, shit, my character doesn't start fights. But I really want that level. How can I... What can I do? And so... <laughs> my character is set out in search of a consensual fight. Basically, he went to try and find a fight club. What counts as a victory, though? It's very true. Um, and so, yeah, I, um, I walk, I walk around for a bit and I end up finding, like, I think it was, uh, like a guard barracks or something having, like, a street fight as, as, as training, like, a tournament, which I entered and ended up fighting a dwarf. Oh, I should say, I played Dwarf dru Druid. I ended up fighting a dwarf who <clears throat> used an anchor to fight me. It was a good time. I think I think I won that bout uh, by heating the metal on the chain of the uh, of the anchor, so that they ended up um, letting go of it and th throwing it away. So basically, unarmed them. Cast cast off armor. Yeah, let me look that up. This is this is India's character, by the way. If you're in, if you're interested in watching this uh, in two hours from now, this is who India is going to play against my character. I, th I don't have uh, art for your character, uh, Ansta yet, but if if you want.
you want to show, you can. Uh, cast off armor. Wow, 5e. Cast off armor was armor that was magically enchanted to become exceedingly quick for its wearer to die. You can doff this armor with as an action. Interesting. You can take off this armor as an action. I'm Yeah, I, I fucking love heat metal as a spell. I caught a I caught a massive megalodon shark with heat metal. My my druid character is basically if I can catch it, I will eat it. Well, if I can catch it, I will cook it and I will eat it. Or I will make its parts into armor and I will wear it. <gasps> and this is... And this is Onsta's character. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Nice. Onsta, do you have any ideas why we'd be together as a party? I've been trying to think of... I've been trying to think of, um... Of, of reason... <laughs> India just popped her head through the door and said, Community service. <laughs> I kind of love that idea. Um, Onsta, would your character have done something that would require them to perform community service? Now I have to think of what my character could possibly have done that would that would result in them needing to do community service. Wow, she did break a very important statue. <laughs> okay. Maybe we go the community service route. Cabadoodles, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. What if he's just doing it for the community like a good bean? Hmm. What if they were promised in boxes in return for community service?
What if the pack is just his little mobile home? <laughs> what if he can just like, there's a little compartment in the back, at the bottom of the bag or something, that he can just like go to sleep in? He's a nomad with his, with his, that's his RV. <laughs> Kuma snail. Yes. <laughs> litter box in his side po No! No, he doesn't carry his litter box. No. You love merchant D and D characters. You had a rat character that had a little gypsy esque wagon. Love it. Let's make the bottom of his clothing a little bit tattered. Maybe it's two names, like Rem Ballin. Grimballin. <laughs> Alright. So, <laughs> look how we started out. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
we've got kind of like a rough base here, but I want to do a little bit of refinement in the time we have left. Uh, so I might just flatten what we have. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna give him a second state for PND too. Then, uh, did Tabisco talk to you about having having uh, your character be PNG too? Hey, we could use the next two hours to the 3D model uh, this character, and then uh, I'll just put them in the overlay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a website to 3D model. <laughs> Let's go, die. You was about to get sassy. I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. You have a cat base you can send me. Let's go! I'll, I'm, I might do a 3D model of the character, but not for today. What this? What this? Okay, now we got now we got solid colors.
Crisis. Oof. I've never played the Crisis. Are Crytek still going? What are they making these days? Yeah, I know, I never played Crisis. I did not have a good PC for the majority of my adult life. Can you guys hear Akuma when he makes noises? Because you can hear that he does not meow. He goes... Sometimes. The woo -woo. Did you hear that? The woo -woo. Was it? Where are you? Come and purr. Come and purr on the microphone. A little good kitty. wandered off as soon as I was like hey let me interact with you he's like nah I'm bouncing
Can we pose like the device to that disconnect and ice? That wasn't on my side, I don't think. Space Pirate Fenrir. Hello. Welcome in, everyone. How you doing? Doing some D and D character art. A vast. <laughs> Thank you. How was your stream? How are y'all doing? I spent three hours trying to rig a tail motion to add to my model, only to realize your initial five minute solution was better than any IK you could set up. Damn.
I ended a stream yesterday because I thought my project was broken and it turns out it was like two settings. Um, basically, if the microphone thinks it's pointed at something that's not strictly a microphone device, my, uh, my whole project just goes, no. It's kind of like when you ask a robot, what is love? And it's like... now. Baby, don't hurt me no more. Yeah, I also got the what love got to do with it in my head. You've been sending o you've, I've been sending OBS just the test play mode, and I tried to do an actual build the other day, and Unity just said no. Yeah, that happened with me um, when I was trying to do horse. I don't know what it was, um, why it wouldn't. Why it wouldn't uh, build, but yeah, I don't know. And then, and then, now a horse just worked, so I don't know. Too par maybe not powerful enough if we can't can't make it into the build. Yeah, I don't know what it was. You'd trust this cat, wouldn't you? Hi, I'd like to sell you uh I need to come up with a should I do <clears throat> should I do a character voice for him? Or should I just be like, hey, I'm Gremblin. I'm a merchant. <laughs> and if voice, what voice? Like, do people usually try and do like cat voices for Tabaxi? You know, putting a little bit of it like do a voice, please. <laughs> what voice do you give Kuma around the house? I don't. I don't really give him a voice. I just call him little man. And be like, "What's up, little man?" He he can speak for himself. Do Scottish Batman. I'm not doing Scottish Batman. Yeah, but you're very good at voices, <laughs> Fen. Like. Don't you have theater training and you are have done voice acting work or something? Just Batman. <laughs> My name is Gremlin. I'm not doing that for like 
more than 30 seconds. Just Scottish. <laughs> the Kajit voice lines from Skyrim. Yeah. Gremlin has. What is it? Kajit has. They are kind of like Kajit. Like they've got a, a kind of raspiness to them. It has wares if you have coin, kind of thing. I haven't played Skyrim in so fucking long. I've never talked to it. Uh, too many gadgets when we last played Skyrim. Yeah, it's it's more like the vocal delivery. Skooma! That's not that's not one. the what's his name um from final space it's like something cute uh that's it avocado that's it <laughs> and little cato Dang, Final Space is so good. I, I legit teared up um, when I, I watched Olin talking about the fact that Final Space was, like, cancelled. Um, I... That's that's one of the ones that made me like just kind of see the the cynical fucking machine um, for what it was. That was one. Of, that was one of the ones that kind of like hit me because it's like you hear about you hear about a show cancellation. Um. And you're like, damn, that sucked. And then you see it play out across a creator's face who's like, build it up from... From... N from nothing. To where it is. And they're just like, yeah, I can't work on it anymore. Like they, le <laughs> they legally can't work on the thing that they've been building. 
It has such a big face. <laughs> yeah, a lot of emotions. Get, they have a lot of time to play across it. Um, yeah, man. Oh, you're talking about the character. I thought you meant Olin Rogers had a big face. <laughs> had a big face. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to give him like poofy cheeks. I think the first episodes, the pilot and stuff, don't fully give away what Final Space is. Um, I think I certainly was just like, is this just going to be a... And then I was like, oh, no, it isn't. Oh. You know, want to know something cool? One of the composers for Final Space um, did a cover of Starlight Brigade, and I heard the cover th that she did but I didn't know at the time when I first heard that, like that, because I'd already watched Final Space. I didn't hadn't made the connection, so it was like it was wild to me. It's like, holy shit! Um, the songs from Final Space that hit me hardest uh, are, are by her, and um, I should. I've I've got a name in my head, but I'm just gonna confirm. Give me a sec that I have the right name. You might know it, and then I'll just be like, yeah, that one. Uh, Shelby Mary, that's it. Yeah. Swifty drew this frame. Nah. Which frame? The, uh, the one on the thumbnail. Oh! Of course. Give me a sec. This frame. Today is many moons 
tied to light up your screens Ignition flies a thousand miles from simultaneously Into the night a fleet of fire legend engine scream Turn the key This is my destiny Last flight Like, it feels like you're the kid who finishes their project the morning of class. <laughs> I was that kid. I am that kid. Next up, uh, uh, another cover I enjoy.
my destiny. Last flight, I gladly give my life for one night as a justice acolyte. Light shines only for the blind. The Go follow these guys. They are. They're, they're brilliant. Um, first day lines are like such a gem. Um, they uh, they did the the music for the Magic Boys intro and uh, endlessly enthusiastic uh, and just like just nailed it. The first time, we only, we met them once, um, just before COVID became a thing, and uh, it's one of the, one of the most annoying, uh, like, coincidences. It's just like, it was like, hey, you should meet up and, and collaborate, and this would be really cool, and then it was like, we couldn't go anywhere. singing in the back there one side. Thank you so, so much for listening to this cover of Twerp's Starlight Brigade featuring Daniel Avedon. To celebrate Ninja Sex Party and Twerp coming to Ireland as part of their first ever European tour in October and our new album going to be releasing on the 27th of October, we have one ticket to give away to the already sold out showing at Vicker Street in Dublin. To enter, click the link in the description and get in with your chance to see Ninja Sex Party with Twerp live. Thanks again for listening. Peace and love.
I'm back. <laughs> oh, the music stopped. Sorry. Uh, one second. I didn't click that. I click. I click. There we go. Weird. Can you hear this okay? Is it too late to, to win the ticket? It is It is very much too late to win the ticket. How long have I been drawing this cat? Um, like three hours? Four hours? We're all gonna have to just imagine um, what he looks like underneath the the garb. Not buff. He's slinky rogue. OK. 
Okay. That's probably lighter than the others. Gremlin. How about that? How's that for a voice? How does that do? Yes. Okay. I unlocked my hidden potential. and I have a marvelous tale to share. Show's tale. He's like, come with me to my place of business. We're here. <laughs> it's here. It's always here. Um, speaking of, I think... Please, please do what laugh the whole campaign. <laughs> the, did I go, ha ha ha. <laughs> I learned to laugh by listening to humans. Ha ha ha. I have a joke for you. Wait. We're okay. My mind was all east and all Unless we're not. I don't know. I don't know if... Feel my sunshine cover. Don't think we'll get... Okay.
Okay, gonna experiment a little bit with the faith. But we got the... Nikki. Not talking, talking. Strange in what way? I guess he would have like another.
Okay, gotta make sure it doesn't autoplay onto something. Okay. Very loud. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, I'll just play something safe. Uh huh. Voice, voice meter banana, yeah. That might be voice meter potato. Still turn it down a little. Okay, here you go. I receive your money. <laughs> you receive nothing. Yes. Kuma right now is uh that's the wrong thing. <laughs> He's up there. Getting snuggled into a blankie. He knocked it off just now, so I went and picked it up for him, and now, uh, I think he's making his bed. Yeah. Yeah.
be cool if my eyes widened a little. My, his, his eyes. But like, but we didn't, we were role playing. And... Grambling is displeased. <laughs> I want to hear back what the voice I did that you were like, yes, this is good. How about we do the deal? One fish for no fish. Yeah, okay, I can I can probably do that. Nom, nom, nom. You like that Sleeping Swift's idle animation bobs aggressively faster instead of slower. Yeah, all of her anims have been sped up. Um, remembered there was stuff that I needed to do with my character sheet. Um, I think yeah, background. So I was between Far Traveler or um, Failed Merchant and I'm going with Failed merchant, I think. And I have to choose stuff. Intimidation, skill proficiency. I'll try that for now, see what happens. Uh, tool proficiency. Yeah, 
Maybe he just writes really fancy. I don't know. What? Back, I chose uh, under common. Do I get another language? Goblin, uh... fuck it. That'll never come up. Supply chain. When your time is a merchant, your team connections from your whole source, supplies on the merchant, I'm sure you can tell me guys are all right. Yes, characteristics. Okay. Apparently I have a bow. And a merchant scale, yes. <laughs> Clear, clear all. No, no, no. Mm. I want to clear everything out of my starting equipment so that it can add it. Well, maybe, maybe it'll do it. Maybe it'll do it. Give me all this. Can I take wood carving? I might take wood carving instead of calligraphy. Yeah, do you know if there's a way to um, delete everything out of my inventory? Because I think I added a bunch for... I have so many daggers. <laughs> I just- I'll just get rid of everything that's doubled, right? That's what I'll- that's- that's how- because I added things for um, Far Traveler and then... Yeah. I... <laughs> well, they did it wrong if you have one thing in your own well, retreat. Really a few things actually, yeah. <laughs> I have a sword. <laughs> uh, like, I don't think I even need a sword. So I'm probably going to delete the sword and add things like, oh, I don't know, Flint and Tinder and rations. Um, the clear all button just cleared the selections I've made. Um, can you select all? No. No. Are you sure? Oh, no. Try going to your character sheet. This is my character sheet. No, this is your character builder. Mm hmm. See if there's a way you can delete it from here, because you can get to your entire inventory from here. So where it says action spells inventory underneath your arm class yeah can you select all of these things and be like i used them all <laughs> no manage inventory what if i was to cast a spell on you that burns any perishable items <laughs> would your character sheet be like i i think i, I think i need to i think it's just easier to go back rather oh. than in here you might have to do it individually. Bird pipes? I might not have those anymore. Oh, it says you do. I might not have those anymore. <laughs> it does say quantity zero. Five candles. 
I just I'll just remove all of them. Yeah. How come it's it's remained if it says quantity zero? Surely that should be like gone in that case. Maybe it's in case you want to restock. It just leaves it on there. Just, just getting rid of things. Dude. Yeah, it's this isn't taking too long. You're all right. Was this because you selected a background or something? Yeah, that I it... selected Far Traveler and then I was like, no, I want to be a failed merchant. And they, for both of them, it added a bunch of stuff. Yeah. It's interesting. I selected Entertainer and didn't get a bunch of stuff added to my inventory. Then you did it wrong. You did it wrong. <laughs> Shut up. Don't think I did it wrong. It says Entertainer in my um, thingamabob. Yeah, but did you go through the item part? Um. Yes. Probably. Did you pick? Gold I swung and then by it. Did you? Did you pick gold and then um, buy things instead? Um. Isn't there a thing where you can select if you are like squalid, poor, moderate, or lavish or something? At some point, yeah. Because I picked moderate, so I have two gold. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not really enough to buy a lot of stuff. I was just like, would the Bard College have given me any money when I went out? I honestly don't know if they would have. What are you looking at? Chat. Oh, you're looking at chat. Yeah, I'm seeing what the people think. <laughs> Darkwell says, what do you need four daggers for? To be honest, out of all the things in your inventory, daggers are the things I'm least surprised to see. I'm like, okay, you're a rogue. Rogue's having like 16 daggers stashed on them, that tracks. <laughs> Look so, at that, current inventory zero! Yeah, so choose equipment. Oh, I think I clicked... If you click gold, what happens? I could have a set of fine clothes as a rogue. <laughs> if I choose what? Gold. Yeah. I just... No, I, I can, didn't, I I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Uh... I'm smart. I didn't do this. I know. I, I said that repeatedly. I didn't do this. I, <laughs> I know. I repeatedly said that. I didn't do this. It's okay. I can go back and do it. I should probably go and do it now. I was coming through to be like, I should probably get my dice and stuff set up because I don't know how long it's going to take to connect everything and get things to work. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you want to see my character? Uh, No. Yeah, I do. of course I do. Of course I do. I'm excited. Oh! Look at his little expression. There he is. Gremboy. Gremblin. Gremboy. Gremblin. <laughs> it's Grem or it's Gremblin. It's not Gremboy. Gremboy. It's porn. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, so he can. He's, he's inside of a. It, it, like, each one of these is solid. And like he can jump in and out of his. So he, when he jumps out, he's just a cat <laughs> with gloves on. <laughs> he's a cat. I think he's gonna keep the hood. He's gonna keep the hood. Okay, he's a cat with a little hood and cape and gloves. Yeah. Okay, I love that. I mean, I think he'd probably still be wearing leather armor because I don't want to lose my AC if I jump out. Yeah, I know you gotta lose all your AC. No, I don't lose my <laughs> Ten AC. AC. No. <laughs> One AC. <laughs> Roll to hit. In fact, don't bother. I would only accept that if, like, I can get heavy armor. You can have something. three rats, but zero AC. <laughs> <laughs> Pilkey says, My DM brain is panicking at the amount of last minute chaos before the actual chaos starts. Yeah. Pilkey, this is, yeah. Yeah. I agree. Luckily, Tabisco doesn't need to to worry about us at all. It's a it's a one it's a one shot. Um, Tabisco is probably busy panicking about his own stuff <laughs> while we panic about the characters. So Woo! it's it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I just need to go and add a bit of equipment onto my stuff because who knows when you might might need a flask of oil. A flask of oil is one thing that I never go into any DM campaign without. Listen. You never know when you might need to ignite something. I. Listen. Do you have a flask of oil, Doig? Yes. I mean, it makes sense for me to have a flask of oil too, because I am an automaton. Yes. Sometimes I'm going to need to be, you know, not creaky. I have a scale. 
a, a weigh merchant things. scale. You can weigh things. I thought you meant a dragon scale for a sec. No. I was like, why would you have from? this? Okay. Look. Group panic. <laughs> it says, everybody panic. Look, I set up my character sheet. I just I had to change my background because I was umming and eyeing over it. Yeah, listen, my character sheets basically done apart from the things which aren't. <laughs> the important things are done, the just the inventory things. aren't. Yeah, look, these are my ability scores. Show us your ability scores. Wait, it's probably easier to see it here, right? Beefy boy! Beefy boy! Yeah. So I got, I got a plus five in dexterity. Yeah! That's incredible. My <laughs> highest score is an 18. He's level 12, though. We did pretty good, um, considering that we we just rolled two sets of six and then kept the better one. So we held ourselves accountable, so no take backsies. And we both rolled pretty good numbers. I got, I got 17 for something. Yeah. She's pretty great. I think I bumped my dexterity with feet. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, you did. I think you, you got an... What did you get? You got like a 16 or something, then you bumped it twice. My passive perception is 19. Oh my gosh, Try what? Try slipping anything by That's me. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Excuse me? Wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's a, that's a high. My skills are pretty... Wow, your skills are bonkers, actually. My skills are pretty good. Wow, plus nines and plus thirteens. Look, I know nothing. Holy shit. About anything. He was me being like, I've got pretty good skills. And I look at you, I'm like, oh, holy shit. I got pretty good skills because um, I think bards get something where they can add like half proficiency to a bunch of stuff. It's called like jack of all trades or something. Yeah, no minor stats. Don't worry though, guys. I got a nine wisdom. So... That's all good. I didn't roll any minor stats, unfortunately. Yeah. You did on the first one, but your higher stats weren't that great. So you were like, I'd rather <laughs> be rather able to bump it. stuff up. Yeah. yeah. I want to steal <laughs> from everybody. Yes, yeah, so if you let's go. My character was literally born like a week ago. Okay. They don't know what's going on. They have knowledge, but no wisdom. It makes sense. I need to add his little photograph. Look at this photograph! I do it here. What do you have a little photograph of? Change sheet appearance. What do you have a little photograph of? That's the thing I drew. Oh, I thought you were meaning you need to add a photograph to an inventory. I was like, what is this backstory that you're seeding in? No. <laughs> backstory. Look, I just have a back alley I'm story. a cat! <laughs> I'm rocking up. I tried to be a merchant. It no one trusted me. Why? Because I look like... Because <laughs> you're a little cat. Yeah. Or because you kept stealing things. <laughs> look, uh -huh. let's not dwell on which one mm. came first. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. I get it. I like that you have basically built Neko from oh. Secret of Mana. Oh yeah, kind kind of. Google go, Google Neko. <laughs> By the way, do you pronounce it Neko or or Nico? Well, it wouldn't. Which one? it's Japanese, right? Yeah. So what's cat in Japanese? I think it's Neko. Neko. Onsta will know. W wouldn't it be Nay? Ne <laughs> <laughs> Jin's intelligence is minus one, minus one. So between you and me, Onster, we've got minus one intelligence and minus one wisdom. This is all gonna go real well. I can tell. We're n we're not a. Wait, what's your intelligence though? You've got plus five intelligence. You're carrying the. Oh no, that's your save. You've got plus one intelligence. You are the most sensible. What did they do to my boy? Oh no, they cutified them. That's not the. That's not the Neko I know. Is that from the remake? Mm hmm. That ain't my Neko. What did they do to him? Let's, let's look at the original sprite. Can anyone see this? No, not yet. Oh, there we go. Where is he? Here. Yeah, that's the original sprite. There they are. Get out of here with this. They're a little purple look, cat. This they? is the tiger skin bikini thing that made us nope out immediately. <laughs> yeah. The other two characters get 
cool tiger kigurumis, but yeah. as a girl, you get a bikini. Um, yeah, this cat's great. They appear in dungeons and they'll sell you things, but everything we marked up hugely because of the convenience of being able to buy in a dungeon. Is that so? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, Neko sells things for like ridiculous prices. Oh. <laughs> like way too expensive. <laughs> but it's like, well, do I want to go back to the beginning of this dungeon or go back into town? I'm seeing the similarities. Wait, yeah, no. it's daylight robbery, not your kind of robbery. <laughs> shadow robbery. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a shadow cat. I'm a phantom cat. Yeah. <laughs> India, this is me talking. Okay, show me. Oh, cute! Nah, nah, nah. I like it, it's real cute. Did you say it up already? No. Go on then. I'll stop distracting you. Um, I should go and make sure that my dice are set up to roll properly. Um, because I'm gonna essentially roll everything from D&D Beyond. Because I don't trust myself to math the sheet if I roll dice myself. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna let D&D Beyond math it for me, but I need to make sure I say it up to roll then. Uh, and then, yeah, I, get, I better set it up now because then I want to go and make sure I got my nest set up and my snack set up before we start. Where are you playing from? The computer next to you. Okay, gotcha. I ate my snack. You, But we bought them for the game. I ate them. You judged me so hard yesterday for having three of my waffles. You were like, you ate your snacks. I was like, I've got two left. Like, you bought those for D&D and today you've just eaten yours. Yeah. I get the right to give you a hard time about The thing it. is, is you ate that, but you also have bread and cooked salmon that you could have made salmon yes, sandwiches. Yes, but I was also really ill yesterday. So I was literally lying in bed. Like, I can open a packet. I'm not going to go into the kitchen and assemble a multi like step meal for myself yeah, just we let's end this story with i cooked her dinner so you're not like my god in india was left i was i was starve. abandoned all day <laughs> i had nothing but three waffles till like seven at night that's not my fault <laughs> it's not your fault uh i however i was too ill to go and get anything but mike cooked me some delicious satay chicken with noodles and veg was it too wet for you I feel like it needed to be like less saucy. I feel like it was too 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 saucy. I like it saucy. I would rather have more sauce and less sauce. Okay. I, I think there was like a bunch of like water that came out of the chicken when it cooked and I just didn't drain that. Oh. Yeah, oh. well yeah. You diluted my sauce. I diluted your sauce. I hate that. Oh. It was delicious though, so thank you very much. Okay. Next time we'll drain the chicken. Drain, drain the chicken sweat <laughs> before making it. Okay. Uh, All right, I will leave you will to you? it. Will you? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Are you sure? The longer I stall, the less time I have to do stuff, and if it goes wrong, I'm going to be panicking. Well, what a shame. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. 27 minutes. Oh, Jesus. I hope it's not a strict start time. It probably is, Doig. <laughs> Considering it's a charity. Oh, it's a charity. Oh, yeah, it's for charity as well. We're not yeah. just... And also, I'm assuming that the people might want to be up a little bit forward. I can tell them that you are streaming to rain. Yeah, cool. So Thank you. Gremlin's ready to rock. What, when, what, what, once I get the, uh, there we go. Okay, let me just, um, end the app while I save. Just so when I go Control Alt S, it doesn't open up a window of just like, hey, you previously saved in this NDA folder. Um, let's it. Create a new folder specifically for this.
and then call this Gremlin Idle. Yo, thank you. I, I'm, I'm glad you... What What does NDA mean? It means a non-disclosure agreement that prohibits you from disclosing information that would otherwise um, compromise a company or IP that you have worked on. Okay, I got my dice working. I just disabled the uh, Roll20 plugin, so it rolls directly onto the Beyond sheet. Oh, how do you do that? I just went into the plugins and disabled it. On since, Chrome? Yeah, since Tobias was not going to be using Roll20 anyway, it's useless to roll onto the sheet for him because he won't be able to see it. Yeah. So since he can't see it anyway, I'm just rolling on the Beyond window. So if you just disable Beyond20, it'll roll directly onto your character sheet for you. Okay. Give it a shot. I'm just, what was the website we're using for the reactive images? Um, it's uh, reactive.fugi.tech. Got it. Okay. Okay, let me just get my image To me. Oh my my image is large. Hopefully that's okay. Here he is. The boy! Ah, shit, he's got a pink dot. Eh. It's my boy! Grimball in! What are you laughing at? I just thought I can choose a war gong. <laughs> Please choose war gong. <laughs> Unsta says, I sure am eating through all my snacks now. No, Onsta, no! <laughs> that wasn't my Onsta impression. That was just me trying not to sound like myself. No, I have no Hello. restraint. Hello! Hello! Kiryu, I'm gonna buy it! <laughs> Onsta's like, rrr, rrr, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Onsta's the best. Fucking best. It's Sonic shoes. They're soap. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> I feel the most when I'm alone. <coughs> I think of you because when you're gone, I remember the feelings. Your um, your your mannerisms on Stib, like they bring me joy. So, Doi calling me, <laughs> me emptying my wallet every two days. Oh no! I just laugh, coughed, and hurt my throat. Oh, okay. That's gonna really help my. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. For, what is that vocal fry? Hello, my name is Gremlin. Probably something like that. I kind of sound like a cat house. I... What's it? What? What is it? What is the thing that they all, always say on house? Like, is it this? Fuck! I forget. Oh, my memory is so bad. Like, I can remember around the idea. Lupus. Yeah. Is it lupus? Yeah, thank you, Lupus. Thank you. I, I love the scene in House um, where a woman goes in and she's like, you know, Doctor, can you tell me what's wrong with me? And he says, um, you have a, you have a parasite. <laughs> uh, 
it's just like, oh no, what do I do about it? We said, well, in about nine to ten months, you probably name it, give it some clothes, and raise it. <laughs> He's pregnant. Haha. <laughs> Oh, house, you modern day Sherlock. I, what, it, what, yeah, I guess it had Sherlock vibes to the whole thing. I liked House. It was a, it was a, it was a fun show. If I make cat noises, I don't want to teach my cats how to make the cat noises, so I'm scared. Kuma is also scared. Hey, Kuma. Hello, man. Who's a good boy? Hello. Kuma. Hey, Kuma. Does he know his own name? Nope. <laughs> hey, nasty, stinky little man. Yeah, we talking about you. <laughs> He did look up at, at, at a nasty little man, yeah. I, I, I did pick him up the other day and he was a nasty, stinky little man. I think the boy licked his butt first and then the rest of him. Stupid boy. Nineteen minutes. <gasps> hello, Kuma. Kuma, hello. He's busy. Can I just test this reactive image by just like joining, joining the call? I'm gonna call you, you don't have to answer. Okay, let's see. Uh, if 
I call you? Hello? I light up! Do I have to light up? No, I'm, you can turn it off. You can turn off lighting up. Mm -hmm. How do you... Dim, own, and active. Bounce effect. Crossfade effect. Why? Hello? 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 Um... Yes! Hello? My name is Gremblin. Oh. Should I make him bounce? Is bouncing too much? You mind bounces. Yours bounces. The bounce is good. Yeah, I guess it shows that I'm like... Putting some energy into it. Go on a bounce! Go on a bounce! Hello, my name is Grimblin. I tried to be a merchant, but I died. <laughs> and they call it the stairway to heaven. Practicing my voice, because I haven't... Ha! <laughs> Uh, no, actually, you should probably go through your own so that you activate your voice. You won't be able to talk on this stream, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine then. Well, you are. Did you just put the microphone down? Okay, you've been talking this whole- I thought you were talking into the microphone this whole time. Fucking... <laughs> Darkville says, I tried to be a merchant, but I died. It killed my reputation. Ha ha! Mm, I was a young warlord. I wish to do some dirty dealings. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun slash terrible. singing voice. It's for charity. It's a bit fine. Guys, I pulled it together. Look, I've got a character. And he, he, and I love him. I like his little paint. I try to give him my colors a little bit so that people are like, hey, it's kind of doigish. So people can recognize, you know, the green and the purple. But I made me rogy. I'm like, rogi. <laughs> India, you can't hear. She's just like, rogi. Rogi. Who made that cute fish person in the uh, bottom right? This is Onsta's character. This is Onsta. Wait, I can put us together. I can put us together. Onsta. And, and can someone, can someone post in? And someone post in um, India's character. It's so clear that it's Onsta when you know, right? Oh no, I <laughs> put my antlers through it. Yes. Damn. <laughs> we might <mu> we <laughs> we messed up. <laughs> Oh, 
my call ended, so I've disappeared. Well, you will see them all together on Tabiscos in like 11 minutes. 11 minutes time. Mm. My name is Gremlin, and I think that we should be careful with what we wish for. I propose a deal. I get all the fish. Bring me all your fish. Don't just bring me a lot of fish. Bring me all the fish. Who will be modding over at Tabisco's? I have no idea. That's not my job. I think India's got, um, <laughs> oh wait, our sea elves fish. I like fish. I like to eat fish. Honsta, I might try and cook and eat you. <laughs> No, I won't. I won't. It's cool. I was just born. I was just born. <laughs> uh, I guess I have to try and join the call again for it to work. Sparrow, no! Our cats have alternated. Sparrow is now awake and messing with Kuma. She is. Goblin. It's 
Sorry, Martina. I didn't. I, I, I did not mean. She's on camera, by the way. Just before you like go, oh, and go and pet her. You will go on camera too. She murdered a goblin, but it's so cute though. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna mute for a second while I prep stuff. And T minus five.
I return. Okay. That's fine. Just let me know when he is. When he's ready for us. Yeah, remember everyone, hydration, if you haven't already. Um, India just brought me a drink, like an like, like amazing, amazing person. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm, I don't know if toots are working. that we will be streaming uh, streaming on Tabisco's channel which I am going to open now It looks like he's live. Um, well, I, <laughs> I think we'll just raid over, right? But yeah, we're going to raid him. So I will... I'll be hopping over. Okay, it sounds like everyone's joining. So let's let's go head on over. Oh, thanks for setting up the raid, Martina. Alrighty. Um, I'll see you guys over there. Thank you for joining this character creation process. Um, it's gonna be fun. I hope. So, yeah, I'll see you in like. Wait, a couple of seconds, I guess. Um, may the rest of your day be filled with D&D &D adventures. Take care and see you d d now. Making sure I've got everything in order. And uh, hello, hello, hello. hello. it's Doig. Doig, right? Welcome, hello. everybody. Hey, hello, hello, hello. 